Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pop Culture Cafe. I am Huck, and my reaction reviews continue with Alfred Hitchcock. And on this episode, we're going to talk about, oh my god, strap yourselves in, Rear Window. I mean, I'm, I know, I seriously, I haven't seen any of these films. What's my problem? But I'm, I'm making up for it right here, right now. Uh, and I just finished Rear Window. Holy crap! Where do you hear about this one? Stick around. All right, guys, we're back. Now, before I, I jump onto this amazing film, Rear Window, please, if you're new to my channel, please hit like, subscribe, and smack that bell. And as always, as a thank you for doing that, let's talk about Rear Window. Uh, look, what I love is if you guys are Hitchcock fans, please chime in below. Like, get into those comments and tell me why you love this film. Tell me why you love Hitchcock. Because I, I don't know why it's taken me so long to get on this bandwagon. But you know what? It's it's like a, a new life pleasure I can have later in my life. And it's it's pretty fantastic. I'm, I'm so excited to learn about his filmography right now and I'm just sort of picking and choosing at random. I'm not going in any particular order. I'm not, you know, anything like that. I'm just sort of like... What do I feel like today? And last night, I felt like a rear window. All right, so I already did a review for Rope, which was sort of like a play shot in one room. Now this, uh, it's another fascinating set piece. And it's not just one room, like, like Rope was. This is like an entire uh, apartment complex of multiple buildings, multiple levels, uh, an alleyway that you can kind of see at the bottom left and you can see traffic going by and all of this is a set piece. It's not outside, it's not the back lot, it's all built into this giant sound stage. In fact, um, uh, I mentioned in another review, I'm watching the making ofs right after I finish all of these films. So I get uh, immersed into what it was like making the film. And I learned that like uh, Jimmy Stewart's apartment is actually on the ground level of the uh, of the soundstage, and they had to sort of open up and dig underneath and to lower the rest of the soundstage so they could build the uh, the other buildings further down. And, and that way, uh, Hitchcock had this sort of bird's eye view to look up or look down at the other apartments. And it's just, oh my god, it's absolutely just riveting. And uh, Grace Kelly is in this. Oh my god. Again, I don't know much about Grace Kelly. I've not watched a lot of Grace Kelly films, but man, is she is she fetching in this film. She's so, my god, I see why she was uh, a, a success back then. She's just so captivating and alluring. And, uh, and so this film, it's Basically, uh, Jimmy Stewart is in a wheelchair because he broke his leg taking this the, like action photo uh, on a race car track, you know, because he's that good of a guy. Uh, but he's laid out, you know, and so he's just sort of like, yeah, he's sort of a peeping Tom. You know, he's a voyeur. He's just watching the lives of other people across the way and just sort of like wondering, hmm, what is that? What is that going on? What's happening with them? And uh, he's just so good at reacting. Because a lot of it is just his face and, you know, you're cutting back and forth. So the fact that, you know, Stewart has to kind of know what it is Hitchcock is shooting on the other side. Because it's it usually with the way that's done, it's not all happening at the same time. So uh, he had that dialed in so nicely. And the what I loved about Grace Kelly is she doesn't just play this, like, femme fatale, you know, oh, you know, you're not paying attention to me. It's all these people. I'm going to leave you. Because that gets so tiresome in those older films. Because at a certain point, she she turns a corner. Because, you know, he starts saying, oh, I, I think this guy is is killing his wife. You know, that's the whole premise is, you know, he's his brain is, is convincing himself that this guy is killing his wife. And she's like, you're insane. You're nuts. But then, like, halfway through, something shifts in her. And she starts to become kind of game to the idea. And let me tell you, it's like night and day. It, you get so excited that she's excited about that concept because it, it just it gives the the energy the, the film a whole new energy and and the the maid that's taking care of him here uh, let me look her up that is uh Thelma Ritter oh my god Thelma Ritter is absolutely fantastic as his nursemaid she's and she's hilarious she's always got like like just the right humor <laughs> like it's so funny because you know you always see Hitchcock and he's always like that you never think Hitchcock's got this great sense of humor because he just doesn't seem like he does even though he puts himself in, in his own, all of his own films, that's a little more narcissistic than <laughs> funny. But uh, it, it, she's fantastic. She's absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, and so, yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to, again, not going to go too far, not going to tell you how it ends, not going to tell you who does what, but it's just know that all the characters that are across the way are, are equally fascinating and they, you don't hardly hear them because it's from his distance and point of view. So if a car, couple is arguing, it's a little bit muffled like this because it's so far away, but it's, it's okay. You, you almost don't need to know what they're saying. You just need to know what they're doing to give you a sense of personality and like what's happening with certain people. You get that this person's a dancer and they, these people are newlyweds. And it's just all done from mannerisms, reactions, visual, because Hitch is all about telling stories in a visual sense. And this is an absolute masterpiece of a film showing what is going on through visuals. So uh, that's it. That's <laughs> number three in my Hitchcock uh, re reaction reviews. And I cannot tell you how much I love this film. I'm so glad I finally saw it. Took me forever, but I did it. Guys, that is going to do it for my, my reaction review for this film. If you enjoyed it, please do me a favor. Hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time I do the next one. All right. Well, I got to get on and check out another one. So until next time, I'll catch you later. 